Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. <laughs> I'm at the gym. And um, on the treadmill now. But <laughs> my friend just, actually my daughter, just sent me uh, a message that Yale University is offering a class. And the subject matter is that money doesn't make us happy. Uh, meditation and prayer and uh, social connection is what makes us happy. And I'm not in disagreement with that. That's for sure. My book, <laughs> my first book is called Eat, Sleep, Meditate, A Nurse's Guide to Health. So I'm well aware of the holistic aspect of health of which happiness is because if you're not healthy believe me you're not gonna be happy if you're not healthy you're not gonna be happy my friends if you're in pain you're gonna be miserable if you're spending most of your time at a doctor's office you're gonna be miserable you're not gonna be happy okay so yes it's very important to be healthy holistically in your mind your body your emotion, your spirit. Yeah, things gotta be okay holistically for us to be happy. So, why am I doing this video? <laughs> yes, even though money in and of itself does not make us happy, because there are tons of people that have millions of dollars that are not happy, and there are many that are poor, dirt poor, that are not happy. So it's not about the money really. But my opinion is if you do have money, at least you don't have to be scrounging around and begging and living off government aid. If you have some money to do the things you want to do, like put a roof over your children's head, your family's head and not have to worry about a mortgage. <laughs> if you don't make that mortgage payment, they take your house from you. If you don't pay your taxes, did you know that your government takes your property and sell, puts a lien on it and sells your property at tax deed sales on the county courthouse? Now, I'm not guessing that, I know it. Because I have bought properties, investment properties, in tax deed sale on the county courthouse. And they sell your house for whatever you owe for taxes. Say so if you owe $1,000, that's what they'll sell it for. They'll add some interest here and there, but essentially maybe two maybe $3,000 they'll send your property, sell your property for. So yeah, it's important to have money. Of course, it's not a good thing to, you know, constantly work for money, crave money, but you're not, you're ignoring the other things. You're ignoring your family. You ignore getting together with friends and family, enjoying life, sitting at, going to the beach, taking a walk in the park, listening to the birds, things like that, eating healthy, getting some exercise, sleeping adequately. Don't be up at night trying to figure out how to make more money. Get your sleep. Take care of your mental health. Money is very, or put it this way, it's not even the money so much. It's important to have things to, so we can live a comfortable life. For example, people who don't have much economically their kids go to the worst schools and those that have much economically their kids go to the best schools the best preschool the best elementary school the best high school yeah and um they have more opportunities and the inverse for the for kids from poorer families. Yeah. It's important to be economically stable. 
let's not fool ourselves. That's the society that we live in. But by in doing that, we also need to take care of our family's health, our mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical health. But uh, yeah, money, that's the society we live in. Without money, we can't eat. Uh, we can't drive a car to get to where we need to be, even a, a simple car. Uh, my car is 11 years old. I was thinking of selling it and buying something a little newer. And when I did the Kelly Blue Book for my car, <laughs> it was like $14,000. So I said, why bother? Uh, because the new cars are a lot more expensive and I'll just maintain mine and, and keep it. Um, so yeah, it's important to be economically stable. And you know, I find that the best way to do that is not through a job. You've got to have multiple sources of income. So you might have a job, you might have some rental properties, for example, you might buy and rehabilitate and and sell properties. Uh, my husband and I do that. We have rental properties. We buy, rehab, uh, or ref refurbish, renovate, and sell. Um, I have my health and wellness books, Eat, Sleep, Meditate, A Nurse's Guide to Health, and uh, Share Recipe Book, S-H-E-I-R, Simple, Healthy, Easy, Inexpensive Recipes. Those are my two books. They are selling very well. Um, Amazon sells them for me. So Amazon handles everything. They sell my books and they put the, 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 uh, my proceeds into my bank account. So that's passive income. Um, so there are so many ways that one can make extra money. I am doing the health coach certification program and I will be a certified health coach and I'll be able to make some money um, also doing that. So it's good to have multiple streams of income. I also have investments in the stock market. Um, my uh, 401k from my job is making some money on the stock market. Um, I have invested a little bit in Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, it's not big yet, but I think it, it'll, it'll get there. So it's good to have multiple streams of income, but it's very important to be economically stable so that if you have a job and you lose the job, you don't lose the roof over your head, you don't lose your car. Um, I suggest that you minimize the credit card debt. I don't have any credit card debt. If I, I use credit card, I pay it off at the end of the month. So um, that's my two cents on that because health really is not just about what you eat and exercise. Health also involves economic health because as I said, if you're in debt and if you're broke and you have no money, it's more likely that you'll eat junk food because you're so stressed out and it's more likely that you won't be able to sleep and um, it's very likely that you'll eat unhealthy and you will gain weight and you're not going to be motivated to exercise. So it all goes hand in hand, part and par parcel, as my grandmother used to say. Um, and I say it's holistic, H-O-L-I-S-T-I-C and holistic, W-H-O-L-I-S-T-I-C, involving the whole being. All right, you take care, have an amazing day. My treadmill time is done and I'm gonna get going with some weight training. God bless you.